welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome in this video i'm going to be showing y'all how i pluck this closure wig um i've already bleached the knots and all that stuff so i think i already have a video on how i bleach my knots it's kind of old though but pretty much still the same technique so what i'm going to be using is a flat iron a hot comb a wax stick some argan oil a red tail comb my tweezers of course some hair clips and a spray bottle of water and so this closure was a three-part closure so it already had like some parts in it so my friend wanted a middle part for her wig so i just started with the line that they already had but it didn't go all the way back so of course i had to extend the part and you know also pluck it so first i'm just starting off by making the part of course and then i'm going to clip down this section so it can stay flat because I flat iron my closures first or hot comb it um, to make sure that it's laying flat before I start plugging. Okay, y'all, if I sound stuffy, it's because my nose is stopped up. But I'm taking this section that I just parted and I'm going to um, put it in the back to cover up the tracks. So I'm just going to take my wax stick and you only need a little bit because if you use too much, it can get greasy real fast. So just a little bit will take you a long way. And I'm just going to hot comb it and that's it. I got this hot comb and this wax stick off of Amazon. So yeah, the wax stick is from She Is Bomb. I don't know if they have their own separate website, but I got it off Amazon. And so now I'm just going to make another section. Like I said, I'm just going to flat iron the whole closure before I start plucking and I used the argan oil on this first section but the rest of the hair I did use my wax stick so yeah each section I just took the wax stick I just put it on the um section of hair combed it out and then hot combed it but like I said on this section I used the argan oil but yeah I'm not going to show y'all me doing the whole thing because this video is mainly about plucking but I did want to show y'all how I get my closures to lay really flat. Okay, y'all, so this is how the wig was looking after I flat iron and hot combed the whole thing. Um, now I'm just taking this spray bottle of water just to soften up the hair. You can use water or most people use mousse, so whichever one you want to. Um, and now I'm just going to show y'all a close-up of the tweezers I have. They're really pointy, um, but these work the best so far that I've used. I got them from Walmart for like 7 or $8, um, but yeah, I really like them. But... Honestly, I don't have like an exact technique, I guess you can say, for plucking my closures, but to just make sure I'm actually getting the knots. So I, when I used to pluck, I used to just be plucking. I was just pulling hair, but I wasn't actually getting close up on the lace and getting the knots. So if you're not actually pulling the knots out of the lace, it's not going to look like you did anything. So just make sure to get really close on the lace and actually pull the knots out. Um, but be careful if you're using these type of tweezers like I have because you can poke a hole in your lace real easily. But, yeah, just take your time. That's the number one thing is just to take your time and keep practicing. Because at one point, I never even plucked my wig. I would just make them and then they would just be dead on it. But it gets easier. Just keep practicing. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to get ready to pluck the hairline just a little bit. I ain't do much with it. Um, but I just section the um, piece off and just start plucking. With this one, it's like you still want to do the same thing. Make sure you're getting the knots. But I'm just not as tedious with it with this part as I am with the actual part of the closure. Um, but you just want to make sure that you don't stay in one spot for too long. Because you don't want to bald it in one area. So, just make sure you just keep moving the tweezers around. Um, and that's pretty much it for the hairline. Okay, y'all, so I'm going in the middle of the hair because I don't want it to be, like, super thick. So I'm going just in between the um hair and just plucking it, well, thinning it out, basically, is what I'm doing. So the wig won't look so bulky. Okay, y'all, so this is what the wig looks like straight off the canvas head, y'all. I'm serving all types of scalp, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was kind of nervous because it wasn't looking so good. Like, it was looking decent, but I was like, mm, I don't know. Well, when I took it off and got, like, a better look of it, I was like, okay. But, yes, y'all, this is the end of the video. If I have tried out, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.